let us watch the reflection so here if i change the angle between the normal which is not shown here which is actually perpendicular to the mirror plane of the mirror so now by increasing the angle of incidence you can see that angle of reflection is also increased deflection is a phenomenon which can be explained by both the wave as well as the particle phenomena so here you can see an activity which is very simple to demonstrate the property of reflection see this is the incident ray and if you keep this as normal this angle is called angle of incidence and this is angle of reflection see i have taken a black sheet and on which a white sheet is attached the same phenomenon can be explained with the help of waves Let's do once again. This is incident wave hitting the mirror, and then this is reflected wave. Now, the question comes: When both the two theories, particle as well as the wave theory, are able to explain the laws of reflection? you have studied already the ray optics path now let us talk about the wave optics how huygens wave theory can prove the laws of reflection so for this i have to take one interface between the two media let's name it as ab so this is the mirror now i have to construct one plane wave front remember you cannot see the waves only you can see the rays that rays also can be seen only when they are falling on any objects so this is one ray this is another ray and this constitutes the plane wave front so when this plane wave front comes and hits this mirror it will go back it will be reflected and another wave front is constructed now if you take a normal this is angle of incidence i now i wanted to construct the reflected wave front so to construct that reflected wave front i'll extend this one it is obvious that this ray hits the mirror earlier and this ray hits the mirror after some time let us say that it is delta t so then this distance will be automatically v delta t if v is the speed of light in that medium now let me take this 
distance and let me draw a tangent a, uh, let me draw a curve for which the reflected wave front must be acting like a tangent so if i join these now i got my now this acts as one ray reflected ray the other reflected ray i can construct here remember the angle between the wave front plane wave front and the rays should always be 90 degrees so in this case if it is i this is 90 minus i therefore this should be i similarly we can say that this is r now again if i join this one so for this reflected wave front these are the rays so these two must be parallel to each other as these two are parallel to each other in the incident wave front so now if you take this as this will be automatically this actually this is reflection angle of reflection and you can prove that this is uh, as well because by taking this angle this is again 90 for us and this will be 90 minus r this whole this whole will be 90 minus r therefore this can be proved as r now if we take the already we named it as a let us say that this is c this is d and then this is e so in this in this case that is in triangle a e c what is the value of sin i the value of sin i remember that this is 90 degrees so this acts like hypotenuse ac is hypotenuse so perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular is ec and hypotenuse is ac now in the other triangle a d c sin r we can calculate in the similar fashion so sin r remember that this is 90 degrees this again acting as hypotenuse for us therefore this is ad by ac now if you observe ec the value of ec and the value of ad i have taken in my construction i have taken like this this is ec and this is ad okay so the when already the denominators are same ec is equal to ad by virtue of our construction then we can say sin i is equal to sin r so which tells me i is equal to r in fact suppose if this distance is not equal to this distance that means what it, what does it mean once this incident wave front hits this mirror after hitting this mirror again a reflected wave front is to be constituted so then only uh, the wave the wave can be reflected as a whole so therefore when this ray hits and goes up to this this uh, point by the time this ray will come and hit this one so we can prove this uh, laws of reflection with the help of huygens wave theory